This is Jill Biden, the first lady of the United States and America's preeminent fashion icon. Recently, CNN reporter Arlette Sines asked Dr. Biden about her husband, Joe Biden, running for a second term in 2024. Now, your husband is 80 years old. Mm -hmm. If he wins a second term, he would be 82 at inauguration. What do you say to those people who say maybe he's too old to be president? Are those fair questions and conversations to be having? Look at how um, physically he's got the good bill of health from the doctors to his physicals. But how many 30-year-olds could travel to Poland, get on the train, go nine more hours, go to Ukraine, meet with President Zelensky. How many 30-year-olds could fly to Poland and take a nine-hour train ride to Ukraine? Literally all of them. His energy level, his level of passion. So look at the man, look what he's doing, look what he continues to do each and every day, and make your decision. It's up to the American people. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up, Dr. Jill. It is up to the American people. Let's see how they feel about him. According to 538.com, Biden's average approval rating is currently underwater at 43.4%. His average disapproval rating is 51.5%. In the most recent AP NORC poll, Democrat voters were asked who they would vote for if the 2024 primary was held today. Only 36% preferred Joe Biden. Now, it doesn't mean that Democrats will refuse to vote for Biden in a general election, but it does show that there is a significant lack of enthusiasm for a Biden second term. And there are obvious reasons for this. The AP NORC poll shows that only 43% of voters think that Joe Biden is mentally fit to serve as the president. 57% of voters have doubts about his mental fitness, and that includes 25% of Democrats and 66% of independents. So the majority of Americans are questioning Joe Biden's mental health? Really? That's so weird. I just met a woman who has health care costs that are $600,000 a year, $7,000 a month. 81 million votes, guys. In the same poll, 63% of voters think that Joe Biden is showing that he is too old to be president. That includes 32% of Democrats and 71% of independents. And what this means, at the very least, is that a large chunk of registered voters who voted for Biden before are gonna think twice about voting for Biden a second time. And convincing these voters otherwise is going to be a hard sell, and the Democrats will not be able to use the same strategy that they did three years ago. During his campaign, Biden released a political ad titled, Keep Up, which painted him as energetic and vibrant. Let's take a look. Some people are always in a hurry. He's wearing a surgical mask on a bicycle. A surgical mask, but not a helmet. What a genius. They run when they could walk. Race up steps when others take it slow. Biden is not racing up steps here because this is a ramp. Second, this is what is known as deceptive editing. And to prove it, let's watch the raw footage. That's not racing. That is at best a very light jog. And it wasn't even for a full two seconds. Now, if you watch Joe Biden's public appearances, and why would you? you'd know that this is a regular Joe Biden move. Biden will routinely walk towards a podium and then seemingly at random start jogging, which never lasts for more than a few seconds. And that clip is probably the longest I've ever seen him run. It's usually like this. Joseph or Biden? Not even two whole seconds. Great job, Grandpa. I mean, what's the point of this? If you're gonna start jogging, at least attempt to commit to it for more than two or three seconds. And I know what some of you are thinking. This is petty, even for you, Andrew. Who cares if he can't run? He's an old man. And that's my point. Joe Biden is an octogenarian. I don't care if he can run or not. What I'm saying is, is that he shouldn't. 
because as we have seen numerous times, Biden can barely navigate stairs. For example, here he is last November with the president of Indonesia. Whoopsie doopsie. If he keeps it up, Biden is going to be known best as the first sitting president to break their hip. And of course, it should be pointed out that Biden has tripped, stumbled, and fallen in public a combined total of at least seven times by my count, including this one back in November 2022. Two, 10, 12, 15. Oops, stepping on a, there's a, it's black, anyway. Aren't you excited for six more years of this, guys? Anyway, when Joe Biden runs for a second term, re-airing ads like this isn't gonna cut it. So I took it upon myself to create an updated version of the Keep Up ad. Enjoy. Some people are always in a hurry. They run when they could walk. Race up steps when others take it slow. When Joe Biden's president, America is just going to have to keep up. Joe Biden knows when you get knocked down, you get up off the mat. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. So Biden's keep up ad was critical over Trump slowly walking down a ramp, which is ironic considering Biden's history with gravity. But the Biden camp wasn't the only one to point this out, as the media ran entire segments questioning Trump's health. Here's CNN's Allison Camerata. There are some questions this morning about President Trump's health, and it's because of this video of the president where you see him walking very haltingly, one leg at a time, it, it starts happening here. Wait, the president was walking one leg at a time? Oh my God. President Trump is not known for being athletic. So maybe he just has a hard time going down a gently sloping ramp. But um, do you see something possibly neurological that could be throwing off his balance? So Trump walking carefully down a ramp, presumably so that he wouldn't fall, means that he was having neurological issues that were throwing off his balance, right? So the video of the slow ramp walk went viral and Trump defended himself, tweeting that the ramp was slippery and that he was walking carefully because there was no handrail. Yet despite Trump's credible explanation, experts like Dr. Sanjay Gupta perpetuated CNN's BS. There's a lot of clues in there, but no, no conclusions. Uh, is it balance problems? Is there some weakness there? Is there numbness uh, uh, in the feet, perhaps a type of neuropathy? Is it just a slippery ramp, as the president said, or, or slippery shoes? You don't know. You just don't know, guys. I mean, sure, Trump said it was a slippery ramp, but you can't trust Orange Man bad. It's probably neurological problems. And print coverage of the incident was no better. Trump was visibly tentative and took short, careful steps. Stop the presses, guys. President Trump didn't fall down a ramp because he was walking carefully. <laughs> Trump's halting walk down ramp raises new health questions. The president also appeared to have trouble raising a glass of water to his mouth during a speech at West Point, a day before he turned 74, the oldest a president has been in his first term. Oh right, Trump drinks water weird. Invoke the 25th Amendment. And even though Trump's excuse for the slow walk was reasonably credible, the Times responded, there was no evidence that the ramp was slippery and the skies were clear during the ceremony. Of course, Maggie Haberman didn't find any evidence of a slippery ramp because she didn't look for it. But great journalism, Maggie. You're doing God's work. Compare that to the New York Times headline back in March 2021 when Biden fell down three times in a row. Biden is doing 100% fine after tripping while boarding Air Force One. Now, did the New York Times also have health concerns about Biden or point out that Biden is the oldest president in American history like they did with Trump who didn't fall down three times in a row? Of course not. Instead, they quoted Biden's flack, Corinne Jean-Pierre. It's pretty windy outside, she told the press. It's very windy. I almost fell coming up the stairs myself. And notice that technically she didn't say that Biden fell over because of the wind. She just made a general statement that it was windy. So to compare, when a Democrat falls down three times in a row, it was probably the wind. But when someone walks slow and doesn't fall, it was probably brain damage. Got it. But of course, since March 2021, Joe Biden has tripped, stumbled, or fallen at least six additional times. 
that we know of. But it's black, anyway. But after stumbling upstairs twice in a 10-day period, some in the media were forced to respond to it. Here's Brianna Joy Gray of The Hill. I'm much more concerned about what Biden says, what he thinks, and his policy positions mm -hmm. and decision-making than I am about even his, his physical robustness. Right. Considering that Biden's policy positions and decision-making are subpar at best, the bar is set pretty low for his physical health. At the end of the day, I don't care if he's confined to, you know, bed rest or yeah. wheelchair or anything like that. We've had presidents in the past who were. And so that, that, I just feel like that's the wrong metric to be assessing his fitness. Mm -hmm. That is an insane take. I don't care if Joe Biden is bedridden as long as he enacts the policy I like. Of course, she's saying the quiet part out loud because Democrats don't care about Joe Biden's health. They only care about Democrats staying in power. And one thing is for sure. If Trump is reelected in 2024, the president's health status will suddenly start to matter again. Anyway, that's it for now. Follow me on Twitter at Don't Walk Run. Thanks to Poofy for her help with the video. And as always, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time. If there is next time.